Welcome back to more jailbreak commentary. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how the hell I do my recordings and what I use. First up, what I use is Movie Windows Live Movie Maker. It's not that good, but it pulls through. That's why everything looks like Windows Movie Maker because I use it. And it's kind of but once again, it pulls through. It's pretty good. I mean, like, if fuck, it's free. I didn't get to pay for it, so why not? I tried using Sony Vegas, but then you got to do this whole tournament bullshit, and I don't want to do all that, and I don't want to pay for it either, because I, I heard that shit's like fucking $100. Who in the right mind would pay that much? You got to be out of your fucking mind to do that. So I'm going to pay this much so I can fucking edit my video so professionally. You know how many people pirated it and turned it and gave it for free to people that fucking Sony Vegas? I just can't find it, and I just like gave up because you're just fine already. I don't need to be all edited, put fucking lens flares and jiggly screams and zooms in like. I still would like to zoom in future because there's some funny stuff that I see in this shit. <laughs> Second, what I use is Fraps. Fraps, I use uh, I think 2011 Fraps. It's really useful. The only bad thing is that it eats up a lot of gigabytes. I mean, when you use it, it's going to eat up a lot of gigabytes. So, yeah. You have to convert it, which most of my videos, so you see it unedited. Because usually what I do, I just convert the file. I'll be like, there's no need to edit it. I'll just, you know, put it. I'll convert it, upload to YouTube. Because the bigger the size of gigabytes on the video, the longer it would take to upload. For instance, before I learned that I can convert it, I uploaded to YouTube. That's why most of them are HD. As you see, it's a TF2 members machine gameplay. They took really long to upload. I left it on overnight my computer, and I uploaded it. And by the time I woke up, it's still not done because it was a gigabyte file. Now, when it's just a 300 MB file, it will upload in like an hour or so. And it's easy. So, fraps, some, it's good enough. There's a, there's a way to go through the um, problems that are in there when you're recording, but it's fine. It's alright. Only bad thing is the memory. Memory is bad. And what I used to use before was Bandicam. But Bandicam had audio problems, as you see on my old videos, which I'm embarrassed of. Number three. What else is numbered? What else do I use? I basically use this Fraps and Windows, and I just edit the shit out of the videos. Where I get my sound files from, like, uh, like as you've seen in the other JLB videos, I was like editing all that, and I found like the Jihad sound and all that. Um, I found that in my TF2 files. To find it on your files, you're gonna have to go to all your documents, go to program, program files, blah blah blah, go to Steam, Steam apps, your name, find a Team Fortress file, or Gary's mod, or a Counter Strike file. Go to sounds, you can see a whole bunch of random sounds. Probably the Rick Roll sound. We're Never gonna like give you uh yep fine, you know that sound that song but yeah that's where I find my sounds at it's, it's pretty easy it's not abuse, to find bro, those I mean I if you just explore throughout your documents don't delete some because saying. the document that you might delete might be a really everyone, important document uh, yeah, well, so when you're exploring for sounds in there be careful on what you click and what you delete or you know what if you what do you move because you could accidentally move something important to a different place and then when you start the game it's like oh missing file please reinstall the game and you waste like three hours to install Team Fortress 2 or Counter Strike or Gary's mod or Alliance of Vile Arms or something else that's how I found my sounds to edit it's pretty simple click title that and I just for thumbnails I um on my jailbreak thumbnails I use uh, Gary's mod for that picture and I just went to paint Microsoft Paint, and just edit it a little round, put the title, and bam. I just have no numbers on it because I'm too lazy to make fucking 30 files of pictures that's just the same thing, and the only different thing is numbers. So, fuck that. <laughs> and then when I upload it to YouTube, I, to, um... If you've probably see, seen my videos just by finding it randomly, you should know that the reason why you found it randomly and it's on the search thing that you found was because when you tag your videos, you want to put it to what people are actually going to search. So say like Team, put, instead of like Team Fortress 2, you can put Team Fortress 2 there, but it's going to be a billion searches. Like 
somebody, somebody switches tier two, they're like never gonna find anything. Now somebody's looking for jailbreak, which is really rare to find because people don't play it that much. And you know, this pickle socks, he he um records it. I saw I I saw him um, him there. But to the, the tag is really important because if you have no tags, nobody's gonna find your videos. It's gonna be lost and nobody's gonna find it unless they click on your channel. So you wanna do good tags. You could do YouTube celebrity tags if you want. I mean like because it's really helpful, like say like um Shibby twenty one forty two just played Tier two jailbreak, you know, you got inspired by that. You could put TF2 Shibby 2142 Jailbreak, and then when somebody watches him, and like he you know he's probably done playing Jailbreak, you, they'll, your video might be to the right of the screen, and you see your your you know your video. People might click on it, and yeah, like my first um Team Fortress 2, Let's Rebel gameplay, which I know people dislike because it was like my first tier 2 jailbreak video, but um, the reason why there's a lot of views and people finding that is because if you actually search TF2 jailbreak, you will find that video there. Nobody records TF2 jailbreak for some reason, and I'm going to be the one who likes to record a lot because I really do love jailbreak, except for free killers and stupid wardens like that. <laughs> yeah. So that's a tip if you want. It, if you want to tag, make sure you tag things that like you would search or you think people would search. Put like TF2 jailbreak, TF2 jailbreak, funny gameplay, TF2 mods jailbreak, or just put Gary's mod jailbreak too because they're common. TF2 jailbreak and Gary's mod jailbreak. You know, they're common. Don't put like GTA 5 exclusive gameplay when you have Team Fortress gameplay. Because then when somebody searches GTA 5, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why is this game on on my search when I searched up, you know, GTA 5? I didn't search up Team Fortress 2. So, yeah, put it on actually things that, you know, you, it actually is common to. But I usually put, I put TF2 and I put people that inspired me to, to record, like, like Uber Hacks and Over, I usually put that there. But it doesn't really help because everybody and their mother does that. They put TF2, they put, they put Uber Hacks and Over, oh. Rasidova, Sea Raiders, Shibi 2122, Star. Like, this is this guy. I saw Star. I saw Star regularly, you know, because I wanted to check out his channel again. And this guy, he he has so many fucking videos, and I know he puts so much tags of Star because I could not find one Star video. But Star um, underscore, I believe. And all you see is all his videos. Oh, Spy Gameplay, Dead Ringer, da 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 da. You don't see one of Stars. So be careful with the tags you put, because make sure it's something that people would actually search and would be rare to find. I mean, not, not rare, but like easy to find, you know. And don't be afraid to tell your friends, "Oh, I made this video to check out," because you need to be known. It's just somebody see your channel. If nobody knows you, you won't get any views or subscribers. You don't. You just be like a fucking little dust particle in sand. So try your best, and. You will, you will achieve, you know, more viewers. So this is the end of the YouTube jailbreak commentary. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you helped you on your YouTube channel. Good, uh, good luck on your YouTube channel. I hope you have a very nice day. And if you mess up my line, I will hit you in the back of your head.